The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to use some of the features of the EigenCam app. There are three options to load an image. Let's try the first one. Scroll down the directory to look for your test image. Select to load and preview the selected image. There is an extra menu here. The Nikon uses a physical menu button. This demo image doesn't show the camouflage objects well. We'll go back and select the decorrelation algorithm to reveal this object. View image at full screen so that you can easily see the camo net and the simulated mines revealing themselves. Now let's take a look at the clustering algorithm. This algorithm is great for isolating certain spectral contents in an image. You can cycle through various clusters to look for the one of your interest. For this image, we want to isolate live vegetation man-made objects and body of water. You can use the pinch zoom for a closer look. Here you can even see the different depths along the swimming pool. The next demo is for flat fielding which is useful for correcting the netting in an image. Load in your test image. The purple haze you see here is caused by the use of an interference filter with a very narrow band pass when used in conjunction with a wide angle lens. To correct for this image, you can use an image of a blue sky taken by the same camera. It has to come from the same camera load the blue sky image give it a name and save it for future use call it up when you want to use it to make this type of correction here is the corrected image after applying the flat fielding algorithm the purple haze is no longer apparent in this picture. This next algorithm is somewhat similar to the spectral mapping technique. Since we don't know the spectral contents for the objects beforehand, we'll have to make the adjustment in real time according to what we observe to map out what we might be interested in evaluating. There are three parameters that can be adjusted for setting the thresholds to find a specific spectral content. The hue or the color, brightness of its color relative to the other color, which is the saturation, and the intensity of its brightness. This is useful for spectral mapping application to find specific objects of your interest. If you look at the USB cables below the Macbeth color chart, you'll see that the ones with the matching color to the Macbeth color square are highlighted. To learn more about multispectral imaging, please visit eigenimaging.com. Thank you for your interest.